Would it not be perfect if we were all born with a blueprint on how our lives should be? There would be no stress of thinking if we've made the right decisions. We live in a world where no one is ever 100% sure if the decision they make is the right one. We want to be sure if the relationship is also the will of God for us because nobody wants to end up with the wrong person that will make their lives miserable. We wish that God would just send us a message from heaven telling us that we're on the right path. The truth is, we live in a time where we have fake prophets and pastors. They claim to hear from God, which have made people get involved in a relationship that was not God's will for them. But in order to prevent all this from happening, you need to hear and know the will of God for yourself. There are ways that you can know God's will for your relationship and choices. Some of them are number 1. If the relationship or choice pleases God one of the easiest ways to know God's will for your relationship or choices is to ask yourself if that relationship pleases God. The truth is that as Christians, we know the things that we're supposed to do that is pleasing to God and will bring glory to His name. If you're involved in a relationship with someone who brings you closer to God rather than take you far from Him, if that choice that you're about to make is also going to please God, then you should be able to tell that this is the will of God in your life. Many believers are in relationships where they are engaged in activities that do not please God. They indulge in things that are contrary to the word of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 says, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, that do not make mismated alliances with them or come under a different yoke with them, inconsistent with your faith. For what partnership have right living and right standing with God with iniquity and lawlessness? Or how can light have fellowship with darkness? The will of God are the intentions and desires of God. It cannot be the will of God when it does not please Him. It cannot be the will of God when you are involved with an unbeliever. It cannot also be the will of God when that choice that you're about to make does not bring glory to the name of God. So be sure that your relationship pleases God. Be sure that your choice of partner pleases God and that you're not going contrary to God's instructions and directions to Christians. Number 2. Through confirmation from a genuine man of God I had to put the word genuine man of God so that we do not get frustrated believing just anyone that calls himself a man of God. For you to know a true man of God, your spirit man, as a true believer also must have already agreed with the person. Ensure that the words he speaks are in accordance to the teachings of Christ. Whenever God speaks about something, there is always a confirmation that he sends or shows you. All you have to do is open your mind in order to see it. God is still in the business of making his will known through other people even today, so if you're confused about whether or not that choice you're about to make is the will of God, you can tell it to a genuine man of God to join you, pray about it and God will speak to him. We all need a community of faith to help us in times like these when we're in doubt and that is why the Bible made is clear that iron shapes iron. Number 3. If your goals and aspirations are same with your partners. Another way you can also understand that your relationship is the will of God is to check if you both agree on the things you want from life. God is not an author of confusion and so he is not going to bring someone into your life that is going to confuse you. The Bible also speaking in Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says, Do two walk together except when they make an appointment or have agreed? Agreement in any area of life is important. You cannot achieve your goals and purpose in life if you both want different things from life. Being with someone who is not going in the same direction as you can be really frustrating and that is because you will never make a decision that will favor either of you, which means one person has to keep compromising for the other. God is not about to join you with a person who is not going to make you happy or who will frustrate your life. He will give you the perfect person so that you can fulfill the purpose that he has brought you to earth for. 
It is also not the will of God for you to make choices that would not sit well with your kind of person no matter how you try to make it fit. We are all created in a unique way for specific purposes and so God is going to put you with someone who completes you and not someone who you will struggle with. So before you jump into that relationship or that decision, make sure that there's an agreement within you and that person. Number four, if you feel loved. Love is one of the greatest emotions that can be felt. When someone truly and genuinely loves you, you'll definitely feel it. Love is an emotion that does not hide. God is the author of love. In simple terms, God is love himself and he has set out the perfect example for us to see and know when someone genuinely loves us. Because of the love that God has for us, he gave us his only begotten son. That is, he sacrificed his only son for the sake of mankind. Someone cannot be God's will for you if he is not willing to sacrifice for you, if he or she is not willing to get that extra mile for you. The Bible speaking in 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 2 to 7 shows us the attributes of love and it says, Love endures long and is patient and kind. Love never is envious nor boils over with jealousy, is not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. It is not conceited, arrogant and inflated with pride. It is not rude, unmannerly and does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own way. For it is not self-seeking, it is not touchy, it takes no account of the evil done to it. It does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Love bears up under anything and everything that comes. Love is ever ready to believe the best of every person, and it endures everything without weakening. So one of the ways you can be sure that the relationship of God is God's will is if the person has truly proven the qualities that God requires of his children. God would not want you to be with a person who will not represent his love towards you on earth. Number five, if you find peace with that choice or your mind is at peace in the relationship. In a world where everything is trying, it's best to take away your peace of mind. The challenges you face and other things that are all trying to make you restless. But when you find that one person that gives you peace, he will just know it. That person will be a source of peace from all the chaos around you. God knows just how important we need peace in our lives and so he would not want you to be with someone who is going to take that peace away from you. And when it also comes to the choices that you make, the truth is you will not find the right peace within your spirit when you make the wrong choice. The peace of God brings you comfort and gives you rest so definitely when you feel such, know that. That is also one of the ways of knowing that this is the will of God. God is still speaking today. You just need to be spiritually sensitive to hear and open your eyes to see the signs that he is showing you. The Lord that sees your heart and is always working in your best interest has your back and he will direct you to the right path and the right one for you. Just believe and trust him and everything will be alright.